I am Adhya Shetra Pati from and we are from class 10, Ruchika High School. It is my pleasure to address you all through this video. Through this video of ours, we have tried to make you aware of solid waste management. Hello everyone, my name is Nagavit Sat Pati. Hello everyone, my name is Shukrishwara. Hello everyone, my name is Shubham Kumar Nai. Hello everyone, my name is MD Gatti. Hello everyone, my name is Dhritya Sarangi. I am thankful to each one, each of us for the contribution in this English project. This has clearly put on light into what waste management is actually is and how much we as a citizen aware of it. We hope that this video of ours deals the best with your understanding. Have you seen this grassless mountain? No worries. Human population has even contributed in there. The landfill around the world are bursting at seams and are overflowing with items that should not be thrown into trash. The landfill at Devanar, Mumbai is about 90 years old and is on the verge of collapsing. The garbage heap here is as tall as 5 or 6 storeys building, standing 15 meter high. There another landfill at Mulun has been functional since 1968. Major metropolitan cities like Chennai, Kolkata, Bangalore, Delhi, Hyderabad generate 100, ton, 100 million stones garbage every day. Imagine 3 million trucks piled high up with garbage. That's how much untreated garbage urban India generates every day just in case. If you are wondering how much waste that is, if 3 million trucks were laid end to end, they would cover the half a distance between Earth and Moon. Researcher says India pumps around 0.6 tons of plastic annually. It is the 12th biggest plastic polluter of the world and ranked 10th when it comes to the municipal solid waste. With an overall score of 18.9, India has been ranked in the bottom of all countries in 2022 EPI. Thank you, sir, for joining us. So, myself, Nilesh, and I'm the co-founder of PaperCycle.in. So, yeah, good to be here. Looking forward to sharing my experiences. And apart from that, what we are doing is like we have tied up with many schools. Like uh, I'm a uh, like you know I'm a, my alma mater is DB Pokhari then I would like to ask you, how are you planning to deal with low market demand for recycled paper? <clears throat> so, uh, there, 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 there is uh, like, you know, a multiple approaches towards this. So one is the types of paper that we reach every day. So let's say, uh, like, you know, there are, I would broadly classify it into three categories. One would be your uh, cartons, which are you majorly responsible for your industrial goods so it's like you know the industrial goods are always taken out throughout uh, you know through those car cartons only and then there is newspapers newspapers are something that you reach out to them every day you read them every day so those are also there and then the third category will be your everyday a a4 size papers or copies or books and all those so i think you know we are perfectly balanced you know you can say in a seasonal way about how how much of paper waste and everything is generated from you know each of these segments because carton usage will be something that is year round because industrial goods will be supplied to customers and everything like you know industrial goods are used in like let's say you buy a phone you buy a, a tv you buy a washing machine anything those come inside cartons only so even even your smallest of the Amazon orders also come with a carton. So anyway, you will recycle it and it will be used. So that's the thing. So what will you tell people benefits present in recycling and waste management? Uh, benefits, I mean, they kind of do speak for themselves because once you, you, you stop producing, you start cutting, like, you know, you stop cutting those trees and you start recycling the paper you already have in your hand. So anyway, it's a win-win scenario. The paper or how much time does it take to recycle a particular bunch of paper? So, I mean, uh, paper recycling. So, uh, like we said, the, the thinner the paper is, the faster it gets recycled. So like we said, newspapers are recycled the quickest. And the, like, you know, you can, what I can say, the invitation cards that you get, like, you know, for marriages and all. So those are the hardest to recycle because they are very thick 
and they do not get uh, dissolved in water very easily so uh, how much paper is recycled every year uh in if i talk about indian statistics i guess somewhere around 30 to 50 million tons so that would be something that uh, we recycle every day yes sir thank you sir yes sir thank you very much sir what are the challenges of recycling paper uh challenges would be uh what i can say is first would be collection of waste paper because there is a huge channel as you know india is a geographically huge country so the collection of paper from each and every party would be a huge challenge and uh, like another challenge would be water consumption as we know paper industry is a uh, water heavy industry and it takes a lot of water but we in in india the operations are very much uh, you know efficient because to produce a single sheet of a4 paper we take around 100 ml of water which can be reduced as well yes sir how can we improve recycling paper uh so like yeah that's something uh, interesting like it's gen- it generally starts with the habit that you have if we change you know if we bring the change right from right from our home like you know let's say you have a piece of waste waste paper and you do not throw it you do not just randomly throw anywhere you just you keep it uh, like you know uh, somewhere and after you have accumulated enough of uh, paper or any any waste material to be honest uh, you can just like you know straight away sell it to us or you know to give it give to someone to recycle which would be uh, requiring some mediums and uh, yeah that's it um, Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Please tell a message which you would like to convey through this meeting. Uh, yes. So, I mean, you know, talking from a business point of view as well, we have not yet uh, reached out to your school, and we would like to, you know, uh, start reaching out to teachers and everything, and collect waste paper, whatever you you guys generate, and also uh, put up our dustbins there. where you like you know on a regular basis every day basis or whichever to like you know student or teacher might like they might feel like throwing some paper they can put it in that paper and you know we can change some habit at least in uh, another school as well so yeah we're looking forward to meeting guys at uh, you know your school and you know changing things around yes sir thank you sir yeah thank you sir thank you so much MSW municipal solid waste more commonly known as trash or garbage consisting of everyday items we use and throw away uh, like uh, product packaging paper grass clippings furniture clothing food scrapers appliances and batteries which comes from our school hospital and houses have you ever wondered what happens to old cars acs and broken TVs Electronic waste, also known as e-waste, is any electronic product or product that contains electronic components uh, that has reached the end of its usable life cycle. What do you think you should do with electronic waste? Reuse, recycle, and reduce. Uh, consider the limiting number of electronics you own. How much e-waste is generated in India? The e-waste sector in Mumbai comes at first. It generates one lakh twenty thousand tons of e-waste annually. Globally, the situation is no better. Even though many developed countries are even recycling. Of rate fifty fifty to seventy percent, but only seventeen point four percent of e waste was formally collected and recycled as per two thousand nineteen. Let us look into impacts of waste. All you need is a small spark from the light of a matchstick or a cigarette stub to turn any dumping waste site into an inferno of hazardous gases. With time, toxins produced by waste leaches into the soil and groundwater and become environmental hazards for years. Landfills considered the last resort in the waste hierarchy release methane a powerful greenhouse gas methane is formed by microorganism present in <coughs> landfills from biodegradable waste such as food paper and garden waste depending on the way they are built landfills might also contaminate soil and water the smoke from the chimneys of the industries emits hazardous amounts of smoke and dust into the air which leads to air pollution this polluted air is responsible for various airborne diseases such as asthma Plastic that is not decomposed releases a harmful chemical called DEHA, diethyl hydroxylamine, which causes immense harm to human health like liver, liver dysfunction, loss of weight, and hurt reproductive capabilities of a human. 
the acid rain causes harm to the marine life as well as the humans. Plastic dumped as waste can also be consumed by animals, resulting in reduction in wildlife. For different kinds and examples of waste, different color of dustbin is coded. Some of them I list here. Wet and biodegradable waste like kitchen waste is green. Dry and non-biodegradable waste like plastic wrappers is blue. Papers and glass bottles yellow. Hazardous and residual waste like food is black. Non-biodegradable and biochemical waste like sanitary pads is red. घर मन असना असनी न रहा अमक देखे गाड़ी स्टाण नमस्कार माइक्रो कंपोस्टिंग सेंटर अच्छी भुवनेश्वर आम ये जाना के वेट वेस्ट कड़े जाऊनेश्वर कलेक्ट हो सब अलिया तो प्रोसेस होने ड्राए अलग आसट अलग आस पड़ा गोटे आसला प्रोसेस होती कर्मी मैंने अच्छे आज नडल आज प्रोसेस करके आम खत अच्छी कुंड अच्छी टप हो The waste, wet waste collected here are transported in different different pits. It is kept for around 42 days with various layers. It is also called the Manoj Kumar dust. Thank you, sir. So it is also called the dry waste to learn from which. Our it is also called dry waste dust. So the things of other kind of things, our also we use for preparation. So this is our it to it to get the plant to get the. It is also called segregate. It is called the our recycle. How about it? Just like this. तो से पुरा पुरा प्लास्टिक रे पुणे तक परिणत कर जो जरिया पाउन होती से पुरा जरी वाला पुणे पूरा रिसाइकल पुणे पूरा पलिथिन या जितको सब अदरक जिस कि खराब काम लगे सब जाऊँगी रिसाइकल होने नुआ प्रडक्ट में या weight and as well as the dry are separated and how meaningful they are useful again for the production of manual uh, industrial products again and it's really good learning experience thank you so uh, by waste management we are solving many important issues for example uh, when we talk about the emission of greenhouse gases yes, that right. can be uh, minimized up to a very large extent if we manage the waste properly yes. and sec secondly uh, when we talk about groundwater uh -huh. we can also uh, increase the environmental awareness and the groundwater levels okay. can also be managed very efficaciously and thirdly when we talk about the issues related to climate change yes. i think waste management also does a great job at uh, eradicating all those evils from the environment yes. and fourthly when we talk about the three r's that is reduce reuse and uh, reuse i am forgetting the third one recycle, recycle yeah so i think it also does a good job at uh, keeping the cost low if the products can be used reused you know plastics and stuff like that so i think these are the overall the main objectives that waste management can fulfill in a sustainable way keep the environment neat and clean 
reduces environmental pollution, saves the earth and conserves energy. Cannot have human races perish, suffering of the litter which we are causing. Waste management is only one chance. We have to save our planet. The smallest and most effective is when we start it from our surrounding. Waste management will generate employment. Government is not not the only one here. Let us support and generate opportunities. Who we'll later tie up with upcycles and recycle. Nowadays, everywhere profit is kind of must for people. But sometimes we should think of our mother nature who gave us being. Instead of just giving a thought of concern towards the environment, let us take a step forward. We thank our English teacher Ms. Sangamitya Das for providing a liberty to choose a topic of our own which we can represent best. It was a great project to fully utilize our knowledge. We also thank our Honorable Principal Mrs. Lina Khurana and Honorable Director Mr. Gurpreet Singh Khurana for allowing us to shoot and question stops within the school camp. A special thanks to Paper Cycle who helped the students to have a better understanding on handling paper waste. It was a truly a guide to audience how we can relate management of everyday paper waste to marketing and environment friendly ideas we came to know of facts which we did not know about till now. We thank our parents for helping us and in transportation and communication and for suggesting what to look into. A special thanks to the Micro Composting Center of Bhuvaneshwar for giving us insights of their disposal routines. We thank our neighbors and locality members for giving out their thoughts and expressing themselves. Thank you everyone for making the project a success.